Isuzu introduced the facelift at D-Max in Thailand, featuring a redesigned exterior, more technology inside the cabin, a new rough terrain mode, and safety improvements. The automaker also confirmed plans for a battery electric pickup, set to be produced in Thailand initially for the European market. The Isuzu D-Max is being updated exactly four years after the debut of the third-gen model in October 2019. The Ford Ranger and Toyota Hilux rival looks more modern than before, while retaining a variety of available body styles, chassis cab, regular cab, space cab, and crew cab. Changes are focused on the front end, which features a redesigned grille with a 3D look, a new pair of headlights, bioled tech and high-spec trims, and tweaked bumper intakes with air curtains on the sides. The pickup also benefits from a new tailgate, with a larger integrated spoiler and revised taillight graphics. The pictured D-Max V-Cross 4x4 flagship trim is the most rugged looking of the bunch thanks to the extra plastic cladding around the grille, the aluminum style skip plate, the wide fender extensions, the matte black 18-inch alloy wheels, and other add-ons. Inside, the dashboard looks familiar, albeit with new trim options and upgraded technology. The 9-inch touchscreen for the infotainment with new touch-sensitive buttons slash shortcuts and physical knobs for the volume and tune underneath is combined with a 7-inch digital instrument cluster. Isuzu added USB-C ports for the front and rear passengers, and a new key with remote engine start function. The powertrain lineup appears to be unchanged from the pre lifted model, including two four-cylinder turbo-diesel options. The base 1.9-liter mill produces 148 horsepower, 110 kilowatts, 150 pounds, and 350 newton meters, 258 pound-feet of torque while the more potent 3-liter unit is good for 187 horsepower, 140 kilowatts, 190 pounds, and 450 newton meters, 332 pound-feet. Depending on the version, power is transmitted to either the rear 2VOED or to all four wheels 4DOED via a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic. Despite the carryover engines, the pickup is said to offer improved 4x4 driving performance thanks to tweaked electronics. More specifically, the traction control has been expanded to when the electronic rear differential lock is activated, while there is a new rough terrain mode assisting drivers by controlling the braking and engine RMP in more demanding off-road scenarios. Safety equipment has been improved thanks to a new ADS camera with a heating function for cold weather, and more systems including the expansion of the adaptive cruise control to the manual versions. Sales of the 2024 D-Max are scheduled to start on October 12 in Thailand, with other global markets set to follow gradually. Prices start from 540,000 Thai baht, $14,551, for the cheapest regular cab two-door and two-GVD version, reaching up to 1,257,033,000, for the flagship four-door V-Cross 4x4 trim. Currently, the Isuzu G-Max is offered in more than 100 countries and regions in Asia, Europe, the Middle East, Africa, Central America, South America, and Oceania. However, Thailand remains the strongest market for the pickup, accounting for 180,000 sales out of the 340,000 global sales in 2022. During the launch of the facelifted D-Max in Bangkok, Shinsuk Minami, Isuzu president and CEO, revealed plans for a new fully electric pickup. The BEV will be produced in Thailand, but it will initially be available in Europe before Isuzu examines the possibilities of offering it to other markets. Unfortunately, the company didn't provide more information about the model and hasn't set a timeline for its launch. Friends, write in the comments what you think about the new 2024 Isuzu G-Max. It's interesting to know your opinion. Put likes and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the latest news from the world of cars.